Hey there YouTube, this is Gilly Monster. This is my first full motion video and it will be covering what you see before you, which is a Nerf um, themed Halo 3 ODST suppressed submachine gun. Um, just some notes on it. Um, I started building this back in February of uh, 2014 and I literally just finished yesterday. Uh, August 26, 2014. I worked on it pretty steadily, but off and on. And uh, I didn't necessarily treat this like a well-planned out mod. I just kind of made it up as I went. So um, the closest thing I have to a, a how-to is uh, already posted up in a as a work in progress video. Um, just to start off with uh, how big this uh, this ended up being. Um, it's 27 inches long with the stock collapsed and suppressor attached uh, with the stock extended it's 30 and quarter inches and uh, without the suppressor uh, stock collapsed is 18 and a half inches long and uh, with the stock extended it is 21 and a half inches long um, we'll start from the front take this off so you can get a better look at it This is the suppressor. Uh, it's got at the back, you'll see what many of you are probably familiar with as the REV5 Spectre's uh, barrel attachment. And initially that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to use that, but it just wasn't long enough or big enough around to look in proportion with the rest of the weapon. So uh, instead what I went to uh, Home Depot and um, got some ABS plastic plumbing pipe as well as a test plug and basically I didn't use any of that. The only part of the test plug I used was the top piece and uh, I took a 7 8 inch drill bit and uh, bored it out. Um, inside you'll see a retaliator barrel because initially when I made this and it was just the, uh, the Spectre's barrel attachment inside when I'd use the uh, when I fired darts out of it basically the barrel attachment stops right about here and in this hollow space in here, the darts would actually hit this lip right here. And they'd end up, uh, they wouldn't, basically they wouldn't go anywhere. They'd just fall out of the ground. Um, what I have also done to it, so you can get a better look, take that off, is I've added a tactical attachment. And so if you're looking at it upside right, it's got, it's down to the left at a 45 degree angle. And it mimics basically the, um, it mimics the, uh, the the ODST version from the video game. Uh, the next section. Oh, uh, before I move on, uh, what I used as a spacer for the uh, barrel attachment into the ABS plastic was uh, basically Lexan or polycarbonate clear plastic. I heated it up over heat gun and basically made it nice and uh, malleable and put it on. Uh, secured it in place and just basically made it thin enough to where it would be a tight fit inside the uh, the plumbing pipe um, and uh, once that was done I pulled it back out uh, layered it with uh, Gorilla Glue and since that expands I put it back in it hasn't budged at all. Right, the next accessory is the laser and flashlight uh, attachment. Uh, I'm not sure if the one from the game has a laser pointer in it. I mean, I know you never use it, but um, I, at least I've never seen it. Uh, maybe somebody could enlighten me on it if there's an official source on it. But uh, they're both just commercially available uh, flashlights. This is actually um, a pistol laser sight. Um, I took an idea from Coop772's mod tutorials, and uh, I used basically really big zip ties to hold it all together as well as um, um, basically testers um, testers uh, modeling putty as a seam filler. I kind of wish I had used uh, epoxy putty though but they're both completely functional. And uh, they actually do come with uh, the, uh, the moment switches. Uh, which basically it's a button that you mount over your trigger card and you can use your other, your offhand or your uh, 
your other fingers to press basically the buttons while you're still holding on to it. But basically they're so close to the foregrip that I didn't need them. So uh, that's that. Okay. Next feature is the, uh, the reflex sight. Uh, I'll take it off. So you look at it, I can go into detail about it. This uh, was probably the hardest piece to make. Um, just because having a tendency, all I have right now is a Dremel bit, and if you're not careful while you're cutting uh, the exterior out, you, I would end up uh, dragging the bit along, not necessarily like right across the middle, but just a very small, um, almost like an etching mark, and it, it just ruined it, so it took me a couple, a couple times to get it like you see now. Um, the, uh, the housing is from a Nerf tactical battle app, Cradle. It's the thing you put your iPhone in, or your Android, and, um, basically all I did is I used the base right here. Uh, if you've seen the work in progress, it was a lot long, it was a lot bigger, a lot bulkier, and ugly, so I redid it because I'm... I, it just it looked like crap but uh, the front plate is uh, like sand like carbonate uh, heat molded and it's secured in place with screws uh, this part right here is actually a trigger catch from a uh, I don't even remember what nerf gun it was from uh, because I've just got some a drawer and it's just full of all kinds of random parts so I came across that one day and it's like okay now I have to fix it um, it's powered by basically just a uh, keychain emergency flashlight. Uh, it glows red. You can see this particular hole right here I put there uh, on purpose. So that way um, it would basically push or it would um, deflect the light onto this crosshair right here. And when it's in the dark, it actually glows like the, uh, like the one from the game. That's the main body. The main body is a Strife, uh, it's been heavily modified. Uh, the internals, I followed uh, Drac, uh, Drac's uh, Ultimate Mod Guide tutorial, which uh, I'll figure out how to put in the, uh, in the description so you can follow it if you want. Um, if I also did some other stuff um, that was just me, I've never seen it done before. But what I did is I cut off the, I want to call them, call them crocodile teeth, and uh, basically got that kind of a, a flat more uh, realistic look. Uh, I also had to shorten the barrel. Uh, if you look closely, let's see here, see, there we go. These screws and this plastic piece. A few months ago when I was working on it, I dropped it, I dropped it and uh, it cracked in almost a complete circle. It, I mean, it just snapped. So uh, I had to go in and fix it. But uh, this right here is uh, the uh, pistol grip from a reflex, from a, an end strike reflex. I just cut it off and I took the trigger to, and used that to fill in the, uh, the space right here. Um, one note uh, is that this is also from the uh, that battle app cradle um, and instead of using epoxy or screws or anything to secure this stuff down uh, I went to Home Depot and got ABS plastic or ABS uh, cement because that's what um, Nerf guns are made out of. They're made out of a really cheap, really easy to, uh, to heat form plastic called uh, ABS. And use that cement, it's purpose built for basically melting uh, ABS, uh, pieces of ABS plastic together. So uh, that's what this is. I was going to try and make a folding stock, but it didn't quite work out. Uh, it would have been either too long or too short, and the proportions just weren't right, so I decided to make it a fixed, uh, a fixed foregrip. back onto the main body. Uh, up here I've gotten rid of the iron sight. Uh, I cut that down, smoothed it out, and added a tactical rail for the uh, reflex sight. Unfortunately, because it's so long, it uh, stops up the jam door. So that's the, that's the only part of this that doesn't work anymore. Um, here we have a dummy magazine made from a cut down uh, six dart magazine. Take that out. It does not work. It's got no springs in it. It's completely hollow, strictly for looks. Um, that being said, however, this thing can still mount a regular magazine. 
and uh, I'll show you test firing that later. Back in. All right, next is um, next actually is the battery compartment. Let me see if I can take this off. I'm trying to get this in under 15 minutes. It's a lot of stuff to cover. So bear with me if I talk a little fast. All right. So this is the battery compartment. Uh, I have rigged this to work off of four Surefire uh, Surefire flashlight batteries. Each of them is three volts for a 12 volts total. Um, according to Drax Mod, I got rid of the resistors, the thermistor, um, as well as all the locks. So even when there's no magazine in it, um, this bit right here is a dummy battery made from a toggle bolt, a nut, a little bit of wire, and uh, some electrical tape. And it basically just acts as a spacer. Um, I'm not going to show you right now. I might do it in, like, say, the sideshow if there's any room left at the end of the video. It can actually still mount regular sized uh, AA batteries, and that means both normal 1.5 as well as the 3.7 volts. So, um, but I'm not sure what what'll happen if this thing gets overvolted that much. I don't want to do that because it'll wear it out pretty quick, I'm guessing. But uh, moving on to the back, put that battery cover back on. In the back, you have the stock. This is taken from a CS35 Rapid Raider, basically all the way up to here. And if you'll recall, that's actually flat, and this is basically the main body of it right here. Uh, here's a little support strut they gave it. Um, what I've done to it is I've taken the RV5 Spectre's uh, buttstock and put it on at a slight angle to mimic the, uh, the hook look of the uh, ODST SMEs uh, collapsing. Bus stock. Um, in the middle, I have filled it in with uh, a cut and, uh, some more of that cut down uh, six star magazine. And what I've done here is I've just went ahead and um, painted the ODST crest. We have the drop pod, the flaming skull, as well as the banner. Um, it's been painted on too, like sand. And uh, I added that and seam filled it and smoothed it out a little bit to make it look a little bit more sturdy. But uh, it's still fully functional. So it works. Nothing on, nothing on this thing is fixed. It is all, you can still take it all off and put it on other Nerf guns as you see fit. Alright, next up is the firing demonstration. Alright, firing demonstration, suppressor, everything, all accessories attached. Uh, there's going to be seven darts in here, even though it's a 12-dart magazine. I just want to give you guys a demo. Here we go. the second demonstration. This is with no accessories, 7 rounds, 12 volts. Alright, there we have it. That about wraps it up. As you can see, no accessories. And it actually looks a lot like the variants from uh, Halo 2 and Halo 3. And uh, I actually kind of like this um, about as much as I like it with all the rest of the accessories. Um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed it.